My name is Jerry Holt. I'm a photographer at the Star Tribune in Minneapolis. And so that's how I kind of hooked in with this group a little bit. So I've been studying Okinawan karate for 45 years now. And I live here in the Twin Cities of Minneapolis, St. Paul. So what we're going to do tonight, we're going to get up and we're going to move. I want to be able to see your feet if, I po if you possibly can do that with your camera. So that means you might have to tilt it forward a little bit so I can see your feet. Okay, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about the history of what we're doing. Okay, so we're going to, we're going to attempt to learn a kata tonight called Fukugata Ich. Fukugata Ich. So around 1940 and 41, all of Okinawa got together and they decided that they wanted to, when people got together to train from different styles or different ruha on Okinawa, they wanted everybody to be able to do the same thing. So they came up with two katas. Fukugata Ich, and that was from Shorinru Karate, which means small pine forest, and then Gojiru Karate came up with a second one. Okay, Fukugata Ni. But tonight we're just gonna learn Fukugata Ich. Okay, so what I want you to do, you start with your feet at a 45 degree angle like this. So Mitsubidachi, Dachi is stance, Mitsubidachi 45, okay? All right, so when we do that, we're gonna do cascade, that's like a tension, day, bow, okay, and then yoi. The left hand comes over the right. So your left hand is open and the right hand is open, and your hands are in this position here, right down by your tummy area, okay? Now what you're gonna do, you're gonna to step to your left in what we call a zen kutsudachi. It's a point stance facing your left. You're gonna to move to your left, and turn so your toes are pointing in that direction. Okay? The other hand comes down and down block. The other hand comes here. Right? Like the desk, yes. Okay? So you're in a Zenku Tudachi. Okay? So the next step you make, you're going to step short in a natural stance of Shizendachi and punch. Chin right, right in the face area. Okay? Now you're going to turn to your right side. And down block, bend that right leg, and step and punch. Okay, now you're gonna face the front toward the camera, down block. Now you're gonna zinc with the So about a little narrow than shoulder width apart. And the left hand, the left knee is bent. Okay, very nice. Lower your right hand down a little bit. So it's just above your waistline. Yes? Okay, now you gotta step in a short stance and punch. The other hand goes back. Yes, and now again, knit, punch, and one more forward, sun, punch. Okay, now, from that position, you're gonna to turn to your left side of your body and you're going to go 45 degrees from the back side. So you're going to turn left and do a down block. What? Okay. You're going to step back up in that short stance and block up high. Put the hand up high, your right hand high. Okay. Then you're going to go opposite 45 degrees from there. You're going to do a down block. And then step again, and then left hand up high block. Okay, and then move your left foot directly to the back and punch. So your left foot's forward and your right foot's back, and your right punch is out. Okay, itch, step, punch. Knee. Step, punch, do one more, one more back, sun. Okay, you're gonna turn to your left side, and you're gonna be at 45 degrees. Turn, down block, and then step and punch, base level. Okay, just two more moves. Look to your right, down block. Yep, to your right, get on, get on, and then step, jodan. 
with your left hand. Okay, now you're gonna step back with your left heel and bring your hands down like this and bow. Okay, I'm gonna face, I'm gonna turn away to my back to the camera, we're gonna do it like that, okay? We only gonna go half first. That's the first part, okay? All right, so a little bit about the hand positioning. So the hands are like this. The fingers are curled in like this position here. And then the thumb like this, and it wraps around like this. For sure, you and Goju do karate. Okay, I do another style of karate with the thumbs like this. But for this class, we're gonna do this. The wrist is flat. Flat wrist, okay? The striking surface is the first two knuckles, the second. So the back of the hand is nice and flat. So if you take uh, something like, like this, so there's no, sp not this way, right? See that space between there? So make this flat like that, nice and flat, okay? Now, if you strike something like this, with your wrist like that, when you hit it, you gotta damage your wrist, it's obviously, right? And same thing if it's going this way. So you wanna use just these two knuckles here. If you follow the hand, it'll go all the way into the bones in your arm, all the way through, nice and flat, okay? All right, so let's try this again. We're gonna do just half of it. Okay, we're gonna be like this. Go skate, okay, bow. So now your left hand is coming out and then your right hand is underneath. Okay, now you're gonna to look to your left. Always look first, you're gonna go eyes, feet, hand. Okay, ready? Look to your left, turn, one. Down block. That's a Zenku Tadachi. Okay, next stance. We're gonna move, move out so you can see my feet. So the next stance that we're gonna do is a Shizu Dachi, just a natural position like this. Here, and then pull the left hand back that makes the other hand go out. And that's Jodan to the face area. Okay. Now we're going to turn to our right shoulder. Okay. Turn. Down block. And then step. Pull with the right hand. Strike with the other hand. Okay. Okay. Good. All right. Now you're going to look to your left. You're going to move the left foot down block. Gain on and then step and punch. Let's set the first one, knee, and sun. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, go skate. Okay, bow. Yoi, left hand comes over. Look to your left and step that way. Ready, itch, down block. Knee, sop, she, go to the back wall, rope, short stance, sit, punch. Okay. All right. <clears throat> now I'm going to face you guys and just watch. I'm going to do that slow. So I'm in Mitsubadachi, day, bow, and my left hand comes out like this, covers my body. Okay, so put your fingers together like this. Yes, yes, okay. And then your palms are your protection there. So this is like groin protection, lower part of the body. Okay, now you're gonna move to your left. You're gonna step in this stance, one, and hand comes down. Nice, okay. Your toes are pointing to the left, back straight, eyes, head straight, okay? Now you're gonna step in the Shizendachi. She's a natural stance. And then fire that punch out. Once that foot comes to a complete stop. Ready? Itch! Okay, turn to the right side. Down, down block. Yes, a little bit lower, like maybe just a little bit above your hip bone. Yes, yes, and pull back, and then stop. Good, good. 
Now face the front. Get on the right. Cheat down lock. Okay, now we're gonna do three techniques. Golf. Rook. Pull. Sitch. Okay, good. Young man, okay, stop for a second. Okay. <clears throat> So a couple things that are really, really important. Okay. You see the space here in my, between my elbows, right? So walk a shiver rule, keep, close the armpit, keep the armpit closed, okay? So when you punch, the punch is like brushing against your body and then out. So don't do this. So always wanna keep that armpit closed. Just like if you had an egg in there, a, a hard a egg that was uncooked and you place it in your armpit. You want to hold it there, but you don't want to hold it too tight when you break it, right? So that's going to be in that armpit. So when you come out, see how it's touching? That way. So not this way, but this way. Elbow stays in, turns over at the last point, and strikes. Bone straight, okay? It ain't straight there. Okay, all right, let's try it again. Here okay. Fuku got to itch. Okay, okay. In your way. Left hand over right. Okay, you're gonna go to your left. It's almost like you're gonna fall in a position where you make that move to the gate on the right. You can almost fall in that position. So it's not really a step. It's a natural movement of the body it does that. Okay, do that. Good. About a fist away from your, your left thigh is the height of that stance. The same parallel to, to your thigh, okay? Okay, now, step and drive. There you go, okay, nice. Now, you're gonna turn to your right, do the same thing. Down block, yes, and step and strike. Good, okay, now go to the left. Down block. Now you're facing the camera, okay? Now you're gonna do three techniques. Which, knee, sun. Okay, good, now stay there. Okay, so you're gonna end up, just, just stay where you are, but you're gonna end up turning like this. So you're gonna be at a 45. Okay, when you do that, the left hand's gonna block as you do this. Okay, all right, so this is a transition. Okay, we're gonna do it together, nice and slow. Turn to your left, and then do a down block. Okay, ready, itch. Now you have 45 degrees there. Okay, nice, Zinku Tadachi, front stance. Okay, step, right foot forward, high block. So your right foot's forward, and you've got your right hand up. Okay, now you're gonna go opposite 45 degrees from where you are. Turn, down block with your right hand, and then you're gonna step up, high block. Okay, good. All right, you're gonna take that left foot, and you're gonna turn it to the back wall and punch. Now you're doing reverse punches now. So your left foot's forward and your right punches out and your right foot's back, okay? All right, knee. Up. She. So that's four steps. Okay, now you're going to turn to your left. Then you're going to do a down block. You're going to go the other way. You're almost done. Turn to your left. Good, good. Now, last two, two more techniques. Step here and punch. Place. You're going to go to the opposite 45. Turn. Down block. So your right leg is bent, and right hand's down, right hand. Let's switch your feet in your hand. Sato. That's your left. Is it your left hand that's up? Switch your right to the other side. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Okay. 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 Zinko to Dachi, down block. Okay, now you gotta step and strike. Face. And step back like this. Step back and nice and then bow. Okay. 
All right, so, <clears throat> so Shoinru Karate is probably the oldest karate on Okinawa. Okay, so their philosophy and their theory is this. You want to make things as natural as possible. As natural as possible, okay? So this here, this when I'm standing like this, is probably as natural as my body wants to be, okay? Because that's where you're going to be at most of the time of your life. You're going to be in a natural position. Some people may have this foot forward. Some might have this foot forward, okay? It doesn't really matter, okay? So these here, when we do this, this is, this is a, a stance that set a standard. That's a Zenku Tsudachi, front facing stance. Okay? And usually when you do those, you're in like a lower block in position like this. Okay? But, but a lot of times, sometimes you strike out of those two, but majority of the times you're in this position. The striking is normally done from shorter stances like this. Okay? All right, so now let's talk a little bit about this. So what I want you to do, stand up, put your right foot forward in the Shizendachi natural stance. Now let's just talk about this. And put your punch in the chew down the middle part of the body. Okay, chew down. Okay, now I want you to put your right hand on your hip and just leave it there. And take your left hand, take your left hand and just pull back like that. Fast as you can, just pull back with the left hand. Keep your shoulders square. Okay, lay just the left hand. Itch. And back out again. Knee. Pull back real fast. Again, left hand out. Some. And again, last time. Shit. Okay, good. Okay, now switch legs. Put your right hand out. And I want you to do the same thing. So you're going to go shoot on ski. To the middle of the body here, chewed on. Now I want you to pull back with that right hand as fast as possible. Really, really fast. Itch. Good, good. Relax. Knee. Good. Again. Stop. And last one. Pull back. Shake. Okay, now good. Switch back to the other side. Put your right foot forward. Put your left hand out. Okay, this time I want you to do this. When you pull your left hand back, I want you to let this hand go out. So pull as fast as you can with your left hand, and then you're gonna strike with your right hand. But the power is gonna be generated with the left hand as you pull back. Okay, ready? Okay, relax your hand, relax your body. Ready, itch. Good, relax. Come back to the same position. Pull with the left hand, relax your hands. Me. Okay, relax. Last time. Top. Okay, good. Now we're gonna go to the other side, but I want you to think about this. Okay, so the hands are not like this, tight. Okay, I want the hands of body relax. Body relax. The only time the hand is firm is at the point where it touches the body the point of impact. So when this hand goes out to here and it touches, this hand here squeezes, then it relaxes, okay? So between here and here, no tension. Only when you get to the point where it's gonna touch. And then when that happens, this one squeezes and that one squeezes and it's relaxed. So you don't hold that tension, okay? So you're gonna be relaxed, okay? So put the other side forward. So we have, here we go. Now we're gonna, we're gonna think about that. We're gonna pull our right hand, and then we're gonna to touch with our left hand. With just those two knuckles, and you're gonna focus on that. Okay, ready? Ready? Itch! Good. Knee! Okay, good. Last one. Relax. Elbows back. Elbow back. There you go. Shake. Good. Okay, shake your hands. All right. Now, watch this when we do this. Just watch for a second. Okay, so like the first couple of moves when we do, we're going to do that, but we're going to be moving in step, and we're going to do all those things we just talked about. Okay? So the body's relaxed when you bow, dig, enjoy. Relax. No tension. Relax. Okay? 
1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 Okay, can let's try that. Just like that, relax, boom, boom, boom. All right. Okay, kill skate. D. You in? Okay, stop. Them. So look, when you do this here, watch. So watch. Now watch this. Small. Yes. So you don't waste no time. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Okay, we're here. You ready? Itch! Okay, relax, relax. Knee! Relax. Turn to your right and down block. So, relax. Shake! Relax again. Now face the front, down block. Go! There you go. Now relax, relax. Rook. Short stance. Good. Sit. Hutch. Okay, good. Now here's our first transition, right? We're going to turn to our left, and then we're going to end up in Zinku to the 45 there. Okay, turn, down, block. Okay, step up. Raise the high hand up for a block. So you're in that position like that, Joda. Okay, now you go up to 45 down block. Step up, high block. Left hand up. Now, when we turn to this back wall, we're gonna have a left foot forward and then a right punch out and then a strike. Now we punch it on the reverse side, the back leg, which is gonna be more powerful because it's on the back leg, more distance to travel. Okay, now step. Step. And last one, step. Okie dokie. Now you're gonna turn to your left, 45, down block. Yep. And then you're gonna face your last punch here, punch here, boom. Good, now you're gonna turn the other way, right 45, right 45. I'll help you in a second. <laughs> and then stop and punch. Okay, then come back. Okay, come back. That's the difficult of Zoom. Okay, I, I, if I face if I face you, it's going to be just the opposite direction of what you think. Now I'm going to do it where I'm facing the same way you're facing. That might help you. Okay. Okay, we we'll do it slow. Go skate. Okay. Your way. Itch. Knee. Some. Go, look, sit, touch. Okay, cool. Two, itch. So go right forty five now. Yeah. Okay, yes, sir. I'll go over the next, okay? Nick, high block. Okay, now move and look to the, like that, to the back wall, and then punch. Punch with the right hand, no step, just, okay, now, now we're gonna step and punch. Itch. Yep, I'm gonna talk to you, just listen. Nick, step and punch. Okay, one more step and punch. Son. Very nice. Okay, now you're gonna to turn to your left. Turn all the way to the left and go down 45. You should be facing this way you go. And step and punch to the face. Okay, good. Go to the opposite side of the body 
with the right foot. Zen Kutadachi. The right side forward. Now step in front with the left hand. Okay, now step back to Mitsubidachi. Hands together and bow. Okay, so the transition is what's confusing when you're changing and shifting from change of directions. I got that, okay? Okay, so let me see here. Okay, so um okay, so third punch. Okay, so when you turn, so you're going this way and down. Okay. So if your right foot's forward, like this, this is the first sequence, and you're gonna turn this direction, this hand comes in and does that. And then it steps up and does this. Okay, high block. Then it goes to the other side, it does this, and it goes up like this. And then this foot just sits here, and that punch goes from there. Yep, and then you go here. Two, right foot, left hand, three, and four. Good, good. Okay, now you're at the end now. So you're going to turn to your left, to be counterclockwise, turn to your left, counterclockwise, down block, step up, and punch. Opposite 45, down block, step up, punch. And then just step back together with the left foot to the right and then bow. Okay? Okay, questions? Any questions before we go further with that? We good? Okay. All right, so <clears throat> who got to itch? Just watch. Just watch. I'm going to do it slow. Watch, okay, I'm gonna do it slow twice. Different directions, okay? See the hands? So these are all same hand, same foot. It's gonna change when we go to the back side. Same hand, same foot, okay? No block. So only has two high blocks in it. Now we got different hand, different foot. See right hand, left foot. So there's four of those. Okay, fourth one, turn, counter, down block, and then punch. Okay, same thing, opposite side, down block. And then punch. And then you just step back to the and then to the dachi and then bow. Okay, from the back side. This one. Okay, you're gonna go left, still left. Okay. Left hand out like this. And go to your left, down block, step, punch, down block, step, punch. Okay, down block. Now you're gonna do three of these. One, two, three. Turn, down block. High block, down block. High block, look to the front, punch. Or to the back of these, punch. Right punch. Left, left foot forward, right punch. Okay, now. Yeah. Me, son, and she. So four punches. Okay, now turn to the left, kind of counterclockwise, down block, and straight punch. Other corner, down block, and straight punch, and step back. And then in and out. So, so kind of tricky. Ah, okay. Getting better, getting better. 
okay? Fukugata ich, okay? This was originally taught for kids because the other katas were too complicated to teach, right? So like one of the other katas may be this. This is a kata, you're not gonna learn this in life, okay? It's too complicated, okay, maybe this, right? This is another showing you kata, okay? So those were adult katas, all right? So this the one we're learning now for younger people. And for everybody, when they get together, they all warm up with this kata. In Okinawa, they have a Monokoko Saidori, one of the main streets in Nawa. They've had as many as 10,000 people. That's a warm up? Yeah, no, this is a warm up. <laughs> it's a warm up? This is a warm up kata. <laughs> So they've had as many as 10,000 people on Kokosai Dori Street. And they're all doing the same thing. One person is standing on a ladder in between one group of people and the next group, next group, and they're all counting. Hey, yoi, itch, me, up, she, go. Rook, switch, hutch, cook, jump, itch, knee, hop, sheep, walk, rook, switch, hutch, cook, two. It's it's so cool to see that though. Everybody doing the same thing. Okay regardless of what style of karate you do. That's the cool thing about Okinawa karate. It's all the unity part of it, okay? And there's many, many styles in Okinawa karate. Some styles of Okinawa Naha, called Nahate, and Shuri from the Shuri Castle. Different, okay? Some, some of Okinawa karate has a circle pattern like this. The way to do goji katas like that. And then you have shonen ryu kata. Those are the two main styles. Three, there's actually three main styles in Okinawa. But they all, when they get together, they all do this. So that's the purpose of that, okay? All right, so should we try again? Who wants to do it for us? Any volunteers? <laughs> Come on. I think she could probably do it. Look at her, she's smiling up there. Okay, let's try it again. Yes, you. <laughs> yes. Okay, here we go. We'll try it, I face this way. Okay, okay, close cake. Hey. Hey, yoy. Left hand over, nice and easy. Bitch, breathe natural. Nate. Sup. Shake. Go, down bow. Rock, sit, hutch. Okay, cook, turn, down block. Chip, high block. Yep, right hand up. So you, you got two, yep. Knee, down block. Sump, high block. And turn the left foot there, and boom. Boom, right there. Okay, now we're doing reverse punches. Shake. Go. Rook. Good, good. Okay, now we're gonna turn to the left counterclockwise. Sitch. Good, that was it. Punch. And turn to go to the right down block. Step and punch. Hey, then back. And day. Okay. Yes, no. 
Uh, Elizabeth is clapping. Okay, Stephanie, what? I can't see you guys. I'm just seeing Elizabeth and Kelly and Stephanie. And I, I, see I don't know how to appear. I uh, hit your camera that says video. That should be on the, uh, I'm not quite sure if you're on a Mac or a PC, but yeah. That's okay. I'm on a Mac, but I'll learn it some other time. That's okay. That's okay. Okay. All right. So that's that's what we got going. So Fukugata starts like this here. And it's just basically right above the tongue area here. Okay, like this position like this. So if you're watching it from this angle, it just comes like this down. Straight down, zinku tadachi. And then from here, here, then pull with his left hand, and that makes that hand go. Okay? That's like that. All right. Okay, let's see how what do we have for time. Okay, we got 20 minutes. Okay, let's try again. I'll face this way. Okay, this okay. Day. Yoi, we got to itch. Itch down low. Ni, sam, shake, go down low. Rook, switch, punch. Okay, turn counterclockwise. Go. Two, itch, down the lock. Knee, and turn that left foot. And then this is the point where they do what we call a ki. That's the yelling sound the karate people make. So this would be a i there, okay? That's the only time we do it in this kata is there. Knee, sump, chip. Okay, now they got to turn counterclockwise to your left. Zinko Tadachi down block. Go. And then step and straight punch to the face. Rook. Jodan. Sit. Hatch. And then just move the left foot back to the right and then bow. Okay. All right. So we have just about 15 so left. So um, I want to share this with you guys also. So Okinawan karate is karate empty hand. And that's what we've been doing tonight when we're doing empty hand techniques, these, right? The hand is always empty. Okay. Okay. So one of the oldest arts on Okinawa is actually Kobudo. Okay, Kobudo is old style um, farm implement tools used to defend themselves if they, when they were attacked. Okay, and so they used various tools and one of them was a bow, six foot bow, and one was a sai, one was a tunfa, tunkwa, which was a handle for a millstone for, for grinding. Okay, and one was a kama, which is like a sickle. And one was what we call it, you know, in mainland, I think it's called a kai, but in Okinawa, it's called an eku. So basically what it is, is a, it's a deep water vessel paddle. Okay. And then one of the more interesting ones they use was a tenbe, which is a turtle shell. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you some of these things. So this here, this is what's called a tenbe. And this is not a real turtle shell. Okay, so let's get that out of the way. This is fiberglass, but it's patterned after a real turtle shell. And it has a little grip in the back of it like this from a handle, okay? Over here, okay? So the defense was that you were always defending against whatever, right? But if you notice what it does, how it covers the vital organs in the body to protection. Right? So this was mobile, right? And then they use what's called a rochin. And a rochin is a, sh is a short sphere. And it has this tip on it like this. Okay, this is a rochin. And this is a tenbe. 
Okay, and it was used in combination to the fan and block and things like that. Okay, that's called a tembe roche. Okay, and so one of the most common ones, which was never a tool, but was always used as a weapon, was a sai. And it was used, it was introduced mostly for police in Japan. The juke is sai, was another word for it. And what the side looks like is this. These are sides here. These are sides here. Okay? So sides, are, they're done similar to the way you, would do, you do punches, be the same way. You just load them with, what we, with the side. And you just add, add a little bit more help to the technique there, okay? So the side is used this way. Things like that. Okay, these are size. They're fairly heavy. Okay. Okay, so the tomb pot, this is a these are tomb for here. And they were used on the handles of a millstone wheel when they returned to grind, to grind with. Okay, so these are tomb for. In modern polices in this country, I think they're called PR24s or PR28s or something like that, I'm not sure. But they were used for blocking the same way you would do these type of blocks and blocks and cross like that. And they were also used for striking too. These kinds of things, were, okay? These are Tunfa or Twifa, they have many names. Tunfa, Twifa is the most common names as you hear, okay? All right, so those are some of the tools that were used. The most common weapon of bow that's used on Okinawa and Kokobodo is what we call a rocket shuttle, a six foot bow. And they were used for various things. They were 10 bays they wanted time to carry water buckets with. They were also used as pick pokers and walking sticks also. Okay. So this is actually older than karate is. And so when you when people would use the bow, they be in these kamais like this, and these type of strikes. What are you using to strike? Whether this way or that way, whatever, okay? But that's, that's, that's a ball. All right, you guys look puzzled there. Did you guys puzzle? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. You didn't know this. Did you guys know this? All this, about these different things? No? Yeah? No? Okay, okay. Okay, so last one. This is an Eku. Looks just like a boat paddle almost, all the way up, kind of. But it's deep water vessel, okay? So the Okinawans that lived on different parts of the island, if they were farmers or fishermen, they would probably have an Eku. Okay, so when they were, you know, in situations where they needed to defend themselves, if they had their boat paddle, they wouldn't throw their boat paddle down and just let's just go. They would keep their boat paddle in use. Okay, so that was the purpose of the Eku. And you can see it's it's got a blade on it, but it's wood and it's kind of doubled a certain way. Okay, there's a word, I'm not sure if it translated in Japanese, so sunakaki. It's sand. It means sand flick or sand throw. So there's techniques in the Eku where it does that. Where he imitates sand throwing, flicking. You can you can kind of visualize that sand coming in the eyes. See, it can sand throw. So you may see something like this. It may come like this, and then it may come like this afterwards. You can imagine what's going on there. Okay, but this this is an aku though. All right. Okay, uh, so we have Jerry Sensei. Yes, yes. I'm gonna read it right now. In addition to mm -hmm. specialized kata, what other elements are there that are particular to the Okinawa karate style? Is there also uh, is there only difference between the numbered kata, the difficulty level, or do they have a special sequences or movements that makes them more or less similar within the kata? 
Ah, that's a good question. So the difference between Okinawan karate and say the mainland mainland karate, okay? So um, the most popular karate style in mainland Japan is probably Shotokan. And that was founded by Gichin Funakoshi Sensei. Okay, Shoto was his pen name, and Khan is school, as you guys know already. Okay, so Funakoshi Sensei was from Okinawa. He was a a Don Gray, Yudanshi, and Karate, Shoin Karate. Okay, so the big, the major, major difference between the two cultures of Karate is this. Shotokan Karate is more sport oriented. So it's a lot deeper in stances, uh, a lot deeper, right? Okay. Okinawan Karate is based more on self-defense. So it's a lot more natural stances. It's more upright. It's not deep like this way, it's immobile. So mobility is a huge part of Okinawan Karate. In terms of kata, so every movement in kata has a counter defense to it, or defense to it, okay? There's a defensive side of what's really going on. Most martial artists will call that bunkai, okay? But it's basically an explanation of the movements of what's actually going on. So the kata is a formal way of trans, uh, of sharing an information that's, that's been going on since the 1600s, okay? So all of the katas that we do have historical reference. One of the first katas that I do in the syllabus that I study is a kata called Seisan. Okay, it's probably one of the oldest katas in martial arts. It comes from mainland China. Okay, so but every move in the kata, there is something going on that's defense in nature. Okay, so if you watch when you do Seisan, there's, a, there's something going on that if I have a person in front of me, I could show you exactly what's going on, okay? So there's, there's, there's applied techniques and things that you're doing in the kata. So like if you're watching this movement here, okay, that's simple movement. So if you watch, if a person, so you have to visualize this because I don't have anybody here. If he's throwing that punch, so this hand is coming up and it's touching that hand. And this hand is guiding that hand away and it's grabbing and pulling, okay? If I'm teaching kids, I teach one thing. If I'm teaching adults, I teach something different. You understand? Okay, so this hand, it can do various, various amount of things. It can guide, it can grab soft tissue and pull, okay? So you watch these movements like that, okay? So I don't do karate for sport. So I'm not, I'm not into sports karate. I do karate for health and for defense, and also to keep my mind fresh and energized too, okay? Uh, so different levels of kata. There's really no such thing as an advanced kata. There's different levels of proficiency, okay? So you might think that the first kata you learn is a basic beginning kata, and the last one you learn, you may think it's the most advanced one. There has to be some order. So there has to be one versus one versus three versus five. You got to start someplace. They're all of equal importance. Okay. The foundation, the kihon, we call that kihon. The foundation that you do, any karate that you do is the most important thing that you could do because that's what sets your standard. Okay. So if you're, if you're in the mathematics, you can't add or subtract. You're not going to be very good at that. Okay, so karate is the same thing. Everything is built from the foundation up, from the floor. That's what I ask to see your feet. It's all, it's all built on that. The power of everything is generated through the hips and through the tendon area here. It's not the arms that do the work. It's the body that's doing the work. Okay, so some, some syllabus, like this syllabus here, when you see this kata here, this kata here has more, the stances are deeper, and it has more rhythmically smooth movements to it like this, when you're working katas like this, see? And each one of these, these movements here are very, very painful on the receiving end. It's a lot of joint manipulation that's going on in these techniques, okay? 
So that's that's a lifetime study, though. I hope that answers the question. If that makes sense. So you can take you can take the katas and you can you can start out with fukugatsu each and as basic as you can possibly make it. And the creativity in your mind and your sensory's mind is the one that takes you to those different directions. There's no there's not one if you know one kata really really well, you're probably fine. Jerry Sensei, mm -hmm. I realized that I did not breathe a bit when I was doing it. <laughs> you didn't breathe a bit. So, like, is there any, like, when, I don't know, is there any breathing techniques or maybe, like, basic idea? Like, if I have my hand out, it would, should I be breathing in or out or something like that? Is there anything like that or? Yeah, yeah. So, there's, there's different thoughts in that, okay? So... You should breathe when your body says breathe naturally, okay? So most people will tell you when you punch is an exhale out, okay? Exhale as you go out. But most karate cars that study Okinawan karate, one be shown to a goju room. The goju room people will have a forced breathing technique where there's actually not any connection here, okay? But most people are taught naturally when the hand comes up, just a little exhale. Very little exhale. Don't hold your breath. Just natural breathing. You breathe when your body tells you to. You should never hold your breath. No. Just breathe naturally. My, my teacher tells me this. You should be able to sing when you do technique in kata. You should, your body should be naturally flowing air. Yeah. So don't hold your breath. So when I say relax, when I say relax, that's what I mean. Just, just be natural and, you know, and try to have fun with it. Um, you know, remember the straight wrist. That's extremely important. The relaxation is huge. Okay. The eyes, feet, hand that we talked about, right? That's extremely important to do that. You cannot move, be punching and moving at the same time. You have no foundation. So you want a foundation first, a base, and then you have power generated from that base. It's just like you build a house, you build a basement first and you go up. And you slant the roof a certain way in Minnesota in particular because we want the snow to fall off, right? So when we do a block the same way, we don't want to absorb that energy into our body, right? So we want that, that angle on that block. Not a lot of flat roofs in Minnesota. Snow collapses them, right? So you want you want it to come off. Same thing, but it starts from the foundation up. Okay? So sometimes when people breathe, this is something about breathing that's a lot more advanced than you guys ever gonna do tonight, okay? Okay, so but sometimes when you breathe, we have an exercise that kata call sanchen. It's three, okay, mind, body, and spirit. It is a lot more complicated than our session, okay? But the ideal is this. So you visualize breath with this. So it's just like if you pull your pants up here, and then you come down here, and you pull your turtleneck over your neck. And the energy stays within the center of your body, okay? All right? That's the breathing. And it's inhaling, and then it's exhaling. Okay, like that. That's super advanced. Okay, so for now, Fuku got the itch, okay? <laughs> That's the, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is great, this is great. Is there anybody else who ha wants to ask a question? Right now is a special moment. You can just like unmute yourself and shout. Shout it out. No, all right. Well, if you guys can unmute yourself and say thank you to Jerry Sensei. Can I make a shameless plug? Please do, please, please. If, if you guys are interested in training, uh, Karate or Kobodo, um, we all live in COVID time now, so we have some restrictions. So thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. oh. <laughs> Kato, yes, yes. Okay. We, live in, we live in COVID times now, so just send her a message and she can get in touch with me. Uh, I teach at the White Bear YMCA. 
How about um, we will send everybody a thank you email after? Okay. And if you want to give me an information, we will forward it to everybody. Is that cool? That sounds good. Yep. Okay. okay. So now, if uh, when I say if, Elizabeth, you can turn it on the uh, camera. And Stephanie, don't worry if that's a difficult. Can we do a picture moment? And I'm going to turn my light on. Thank you, Jerry, very much. Excellent class. Jerry says, it, Jerry says that what should be the pose for us to take a picture with? Uh, I, you know, I don't know. Whatever you guys want. You guys, you guys karate got, got a pose? Uh, let's see. Should we do that little, should we punch the cameras? <laughs> sure, sure. We can punch the cameras. Okay. All right, so let's do this. Let's go like this. We're gonna learn this tonight. Let's do this. Chikodachi. Oh my goodness. Ah uh, yes, yes, sexy. Yes, yes. Let's do Chikodachi. Oh no. Okay, let me pull my pants up. <laughs> Knees back, back straight. <sighs> Put the punch out there. Okay, everybody ready? <laughs> oh my god. Three, two, one. Duh. Make sure time. Okay, good. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Thank you very much, Jerry Sensei. Yes, yes. Jerry Sensei, arigato gozaimasu. Okay, bye bye. Bye, everybody. Thank See you, Jerry. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Good night. Good night.